Every day we make our way somewhere, somehow. And some days are better than others. But when you go with God, when you pray first in the morning, when you're guided by God, you're often on a path that you didn't expect to be on. You've taken a detour that you were guided to take. And your day and your month and possibly your life turns out better than you could ever imagine. In Joshua 1 verse 8 it says, Then you will make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. I pray today in your life that you're guided by God. I pray that divine ideas are your God-given birthright and that you use these ideas wisely. That your life, because of this, becomes successful. It becomes fulfilling and it becomes prosperous. All kinds of ideas are around you continuously. All kinds of ideas continuously flow through your mind. However, ideas can be likened to the growing things in nature. Certain kinds of climate foster the growth of certain kinds of ve vegetation. What kind of climate will you foster the growth of the kind of ideas that you need and that you want? If you need more money, if you need a job, if you need a home or anything, well, you pray for divine ideas concerning that. And then you foster the development of these divine ideas through your faith. The divine ideas are your God-given birthright. You just know that they're coming. You know that they're yours. You know that you're deserving of it and you expect it. You banish doubt. You banish fear. You cultivate an attitude of thanksgiving, but more important, you cultivate an activity inside of your mind of receptivity. You become open to the inspiration of God. And in this climate, you're ready to recognize the divine ideas as they come to you. They don't just pass through. You say, aha, that is what I need to do. That's the path, the way that I need to be on. As you implement your divine God-given ideas, your life, it becomes successful, fulfilling, and prosperous.